Hello guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse here and today we're doing a video on installing mods in Satisfactory. Now this is revisiting the subject, but that's because so much has happened in the last few weeks to make it so much easier for you guys to install mods with just a couple of clicks. So if you do find this video helpful, please do drop a thumbs up, it really does help other people discover this video and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more satisfactory content anyway the first thing that you want to do is rather than be on the uh, in the satisfactory game we're going to exit very very briefly and uh, we're going to open up a web page now the, what you need to look for here is either go to github and then search through satisfactory modding you can see here um, satisfactory mod launcher is what we're looking for um, but it's probably easier to go to the fixit.app and from here uh, this is the satisfactory mod page and from here we can go to the sml versions and from here go down to the latest one click it and you'll notice here it says don't manually install this use the new automatic launcher now if you click the new automatic launcher we go over to the github page and it takes us straight to the satisfactory mod launcher version 1.0.5 uh, now what we need to do is from here we need to make sure that we've got the most up-to-date version note this may change for you um, and from here we're going to look for the exe file, click it, download it and from there show in folder. Now we're then going to run it. Uh, do note that I already have it here so there's no point in me actually having this. Um, but from here you'll run it and then install it. And then once it's installed you'll have this lovely little screen here. Uh, so if we just close this from here you can choose satisfactory early access or the experimental side that you want to play in um, i recommend just doing satisfactory early access because as the game updates you might may find that some of the mods don't work so you want the the stable version and then hopefully they'll have time to update the mods by the time uh, experimental goes to early access now from here you can also choose under configs whether you want to play the game modded or go back to the vanilla version if you're swapping between the two. If you click vanilla version anything associated with that mod will be removed and then if you go back to modded it will appear again. Um, also note how you can't press these in vanilla. So from modded we're going to look through here. These are all the mods available. Um, it's updated often, so as you can see, the farming mod and the upside down mod were both updated today. And uh, say we want to install the farming mod, all we need to do is go to install. Click that, leave it a few seconds to update. This may take a while. because it's actually been updated it could have been quite a large patch so we might be waiting a while um, but basically you get the idea you can add any of the mods that you want in game and so now that that has been um, installed we can go straight to launch satisfactory again making sure we're on the modded version and which uh, version of the game we want to play uh, from there just click launch satisfactory now do note this is for the Epic Games version. If you're going to have it on Steam, we don't know how things are going to work out just yet, but you will probably be able to go straight to the Steam Workshop and download these, although you may have to do this. I will update you as and when we know. Anyway, we're going to go to Agree. You can see here that we've got Satisfactory Mod Loader um, working here and we're just going to click continue and now the mod should be activated now one thing to note is in the game the mods have various ways of activating them so for example for more factory you have to go over to the work um, workbench and then 
um, install, sorry, we're going back to the hub very quickly. And then you need to uh, grab a, like an iPad and from there build that and that will allow you to access the mods. With the farming mod, you just need to go to the hub terminal. Then if we go across to hub tier one, we have the basic farm research, which uh, we could unlock. And from there, go on to farming decorations, basic ranch, and you, you get the general gist. As you progress through the game, you can unlock more and more options. Um, so that is a very quick and easy way in order to install mods onto your game. And do note we will be playing with some mods for our next live stream on YouTube. Um, we're going to start from scratch and develop the game from there. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, please do uh, click the thumbs up if you found it helpful at all. It really does help me too. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this very short video on installing mods. Until next time, ciao for now.